Of the many tours offered from Naples, I opted for the half-day tour of Pompeii. The excavation site is 14 miles southeast of Naples, so it only took 30 minutes to get there. Pompeii was crowded, but as we were here in the month of May, the crowds in the heat were nothing like they can be in midsummer. Pompeii is also for the sure-footed. I saw two people fall. Be sure to watch where you're putting your foot down on the uneven stones, and wear shoes with rubber soles, as Princess Cruises advises. The tour itself was challenging to follow along. We were given radios and earpieces, but had difficulty hearing our guide, who was wonderfully informative, but hampered by equipment. Still, Pompeii was fascinating. At the base of Mount Vesuvius, the city was destroyed by the volcano's violent eruption on August 24, A.D. 79. Historians know the exact date because of an eyewitness account in two letters by Pliny the Elder. There were 10,000 to 20,000 inhabitants in the city at the time, and their skeletal remains were remarkably preserved, as was the city itself, in up to 23 feet of pumice stones and ash. Those who weren't killed by falling debris died of asphyxiation on the next day, when pyroclastic material and heated gas reached the city walls. Pompeii remained buried until 1748, when excavations began. Highly recommended for those who don't want to do the full-day tour, the half-day tour of Pompeii.